Welcome to my new video. My name is Björn Friedrich and today I'm here to show you a very, very simple but game-changing detail. I will show you a detail that will help you to get a much, much better Americano unlock. I don't know for you, but for me, the Americano is my favorite submission. I really love the Americano because it's simple, it's available, and I feel it's very, very strong. However, over the years, I, I've realized that there are some details that make these techniques, these techniques much more efficient. And I will show you the main principle, which I call the principle of two angles. And the principle of two angles will change the way you do the Americano, I promise. Okay, let's start. I have someone with flexible shoulders, my wife, so you will see the difference in the mechanic and in the, in the application of the, the principle I will show you today. So let's start. So let's start from side control. Head here. So the first thing is, we're not talking about control, we're not talking about how to control how to control um, side mount. We're just talking about the braking mechanics of the Americano Amrock. So I showed you first the way a lot of people do, you know, and it's this. And you, yeah. See one more time. She, she taps when she feels pain. I'm here, I pull in, 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 tap. One more time. In, 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 tap. So that's the way I often see. Now I show you my way. Tap. One more time. Tap. Last time. So, what did I do different? Well, there are some things, but I'll explain you the most important concept. And that is the principle of the two angles. When you have the arm on the ground, what you have is you have two angles of 90 degrees. That's the upper arm and her body. And then that's the angle between her forearm and her upper arm. There is 90 degrees here, and there is 90 degrees here. You see? 90 degrees, 90 degrees. What I do is, I'm shortening the angle between the triceps and the ribs, between the upper arm and the body. I'm not shortening the angle between the forearm and the upper arm. I will keep that angle on the same level, or make it a little wider. So, look here. I'm here, I'm here. What I want to do, I want to bring her tricep to her ribs. And while I'm doing so, I am widening a little bit this angle. Not much, but a little. One more time. Here, here, that. You see, I show you what I'm doing. From here, here, this one goes down, but this one here, grab my arm. Yes. This goes down. But this stays out, and that creates the tension. I'm not going here, you see? That is where I have some space. But if my arm is on the outside, and I do this, this is where I create the tension. One more time. So, whenever you, you do that, that is the, the, the picture in your mind. Shorten that angle. Here, here, there. So, when it comes to my own arms, they are 
few details that are pretty common. You never want to grab in that fashion. You always want to grab in that fashion. Why? Because you want a strong connection from wrist to elbow to shoulder. The way you can get a good connection is by using this kind of false grip. The gymnastic guys use that when they're on the rings, you know. They don't grab like this. You grab like this. Because here, <coughs> here, the, the opening between thumb and index finger, uh, yeah, index finger is, is here. She can slip out. What I do is I bend over and now she pushes into my knuckle line which is pretty strong, not in my, at the end of the fingers. That makes a difference. So this is the grip. When you see me here, grab, <coughs> grab. And the next thing is, I'm not here, but I'm here. And the next thing would be, which is a little bit hard to do with her, because she's uh, pretty small against my, my own size, I would connect all that to my body. I would do this, you see, this, not this. Why? Just go to the gym and do this motion versus this motion. This is strong, connected, powerful motion. This is not really connected and powerful. So here, one, two, grab. This is already I feel her tensing up. You see, and then I would go here. That instead of that, you see the difference, you know. So, are you? so that is the principle of two angles. Remember, two angles. This and this. This one becomes shorter. This one stays the same or gets a little wider. If you apply this with your Americano. With all the other details you might know about the false grip and the connection, which is pretty, pretty well known, you will make your Americano a much better movement. Because if you can tap someone with a less amount of movement, chances that he will do an escape are much smaller. You know, if, if he's able to, to get to this level and he can bridge up, it's much harder, you know. If you can keep him here, it's much easier for you to get a submission and um, apply your Americano successfully. That was my little video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course, don't forget to get my videos at BJJ Fanatics. There are awesome titles out and there are awesome titles coming within the next weeks and months. So, hope you have a great weekend and see you next time.